Well, once again, we pull out on the desolate highway. Kind of a rainy day today. And we've got um, 258 kilometers to go until we get to Muskrat Falls. Where there may be a sunken U-boat. So yesterday we stopped at a hike, a canyon hike, called Bodoin Canyon uh, that I'd found on the All Trails map. And I thought that'll make a nice diversion on our way to Churchill Falls. So we stopped there, did the trail, saw the falls, magnificent, uh, magnificent falls, really spectacular. And there's a canyon. And there's a monument there, a little stone and metal monument saying Hamilton Falls. Okay, that's fine. So we continue on to Churchill Falls. It's another, I don't know, few, couple score of uh, kilometers further. And we start thinking, well, now we'd like to go see Churchill Falls. Uh, Churchill Falls is the reason for the town of Churchill Falls. It's uh, They've uh, made a, a hydro generating plant there that I think Ramona was saying is the largest in the world. Uh, or North America. Or North America, yeah. It, it's huge, anyway. Um, unfortunately, we weren't able to do a tour of the generating plant because of COVID. They've closed down the tours, which is unfortunate. And it's all underground, so there's not much to see above ground. So, anyway, so I thought, well, it'd still be nice to go see what's left of Churchill Falls because apparently the flow has diminished quite a bit from what it used to be like. In the old days, the pictures that you can see of what it used to be like are just amazing. It's like a wilder version of a section of Niagara Falls. Now it's little more than a heavy uh, st stream or, or small river going over into the gorge. So I start looking around and I can't find any information or much information about the location of where Churchill Falls is until I uh, find something on Google and it shows the location, latitude and longitude. So I plug that in and find out the place at Bodoin Canyon was Churchill Falls. I don't know where the word Bodoin comes from because the canyon apparently used to be called McLean Canyon after uh, the discoverer of the place. And uh, the Hamilton Falls is the name that it said on the rock uh, marker there. That apparently was the name that it used up until the death of Sir Winston Churchill when they changed the name to Churchill Falls. And the river became the Churchill River. Um, so it used to be called the Grand River and the Grand Falls. So you've got the falls actually being referred to by three different names. Churchill Falls, um, Hamilton Falls. Hamilton was a former governor of the province. And uh, Grand Falls. So as it turns out, we did go to see Churchill Falls. And it's a good thing we did make that stop because I would have felt bound to go back which is like 40 kilometers or whatever in the wrong direction. And apparently before that, of course, it had an Indian name. Yeah. And the natives uh, were quite mystified by the falls and in fact even avoided looking at the falls fearing that uh, they would, would bring death negative effect on them. Yeah, yeah. And I can't tell you the name of the falls because it's very long and hard to pronounce. Yeah, we'll put it on the screen. But she do know. But she do know. And you can, you can attempt to say it yourself at home. In the leisure of your own room. <laughs> the leisure is nobody else around. We carry on to Muskrat Falls. But there we find an unfortunate situation.
So, why are we parked here on the side of the road? And why am I walking down this scrubby old track here? Well, it's because I don't want to take the car down here and get stuck in case it's loose sand. I think we'd be all right, but I really don't, still don't want to do it. Um, a bit of a disappointment. I, we came here to the area of Muskrat Falls because I wanted to show uh, the area just below the dam at Muskrat Falls, but the road was closed off with a barricade and there's legalese attached to the gate and stuff. Uh, apparently there has been in the past a lot of uh, bad feeling about the hydro dam that was built here at Muskrat Falls. The Inuit in the area saying that the dam is uh, the cause of mercury poisoning in their water. Now I don't know what the link is there, but anyway, they have been uh, protesting and so the place is pretty well tightened up security-wise. So why am I walking down here? Well, I wanted to see the site of what some people say is a sunken World War II German U-boat. The story goes that a U-boat crew wanted to give up in 1945 and so they came up the river all the way from the sea up to this point and sank their U-boat in a desire to give up. Um, of course, the story didn't really have a lot of adherence until some police divers were looking for some uh, guys who had been fishing and went over the dam and I supposedly drowned, I guess. And while they were doing this searching, they found a uh, something on the bottom that believers in the theory think might be this sunken U-boat. Of course, uh, I don't give a lot of credence to this whole thing myself. You know, U-boats love the safety of deep water and wide open areas, and I cannot see any captain being able even to take a boat this far up, up a, a river. And uh, God knows if it's even deep enough to get a boat up this far. And why? To come into the middle of nowhere to give up? It'd be a lot easier just to scuttle the boat on the St. Lawrence somewhere. And the St. Lawrence had plenty of U-boat uh, activity, had plenty of U-boat activity during the war. So, I mean, just scuttle the boat off the shore and swim ashore or take a, take a lifeboat ashore or, you know, a, a raft. Uh, would made a lot more sense in trying to come up into the middle of nowhere. But anyway, that's the story, and I wanted to come and see the area and uh, see if I get some video of the area. Now this, uh, we, we've looked for another road to get access down to Muskrat Falls, but uh, there hasn't been anything up until now, until this. Uh, and uh, <laughs> I don't know, I was hoping there'd be a viewing area, something, a public place, but there isn't. And so I'm just following this track in and we'll see what I can find at the end of it. I'll try to launch the drone, see if I can get even a distant shot for you. I would have loved to have hovered the drone over the water and say, down, down below us, maybe there's an old U-boat, but uh, I guess that's not gonna happen now. We're probably at least a kilometer, or maybe a couple of kilometers away from the dam at this point. Couldn't find any other roads going off toward the Churchill River at all.
is right there, please. You want to go yeah, in there? Yeah, I do. I could use it. Yeah. 